Hi everybody, uh, I'm here with another video and this time we have uh, this concern that uh, some data is written in this form. Some junk data is written and uh, person uh, who wrote this email, he said that there are many slashes in the content and what he wants to do is uh, he wants to uh, extract the the, you know the number or the alphabet what whatever it is there after the last slash so <coughs> I'm taking this um, he hasn't uh, given me any data though uh, but he said that this data could vary if we go down so for example we may have this data like this as well we could have a number of slashes and you know this data could be like this as well so what he's looking for is, uh, and I think uh, he he also mentioned that you know his HR actually gave this data to him, and he they said that uh, if there is any possibility that uh, you know uh, whatever is written after the last slash it can be retrieved. So I, I think he's looking for this kind of a result. And the problem with this data is that it it can have four slashes, it can have five slashes, it can even ten slashes, twelve slashes, and so on. You know, and uh, so yes, there is a solution. The good thing is, the good news is that if you're watching this video, yes, there is a solution. I'm going to tell you this. This can be done uh, through arrays. Watch my another video, uh, which is again uh, uh, uploaded by me on the same concept arrays. If you don't know the arrays, you can watch that video and. Uh, this uh, can give us uh, you know these uh, kind of a difficult results basically uh, and uh, I must tell you that if you are good in arrays then you can be distinguished uh, you know uh, between 100 people who know Excel but they don't know the arrays so arrays are so wonderful and so powerful and I always say yeah, that we are actually very thankful to the Microsoft that they have given us this you know such a powerful tool but uh, the sad part is that people generally don't know them and they don't they feel very scary because they are very long you know when you actually work on the formulas I'll show you just uh, in a just moment when we are be uh, when we'll be able to build this formula you can see yourself you know the formula is going to be so awesome and yes initially it is difficult but then with the regular practice and the dedication you can definitely overcome your fears so let me start this quickly and uh, let's start from here so uh, so what you need to do is uh, first uh, the very first thing is you need to segregate these elements like this a comma b comma c comma slash comma three and comma four you know and uh, so <coughs> I beg your pardon so you need to extract these alphabets uh, special characters and then what you need to do is you need to find the position of the slashes right once you find the position of the slashes like in this case is third and then uh, six and then so on then what you need to do is um, after that you'll find the largest number uh, which uh, is the position of the slash and obviously it would be the largest this position and then through that you can extract the element so it's quite simple but yes it is very tricky as well so let us build the functions uh, we'll use a lot of functions over here we'll use a offset function we'll use a row function maybe we sh I think you we'll use the uh, mid function as well we'll use the large function as well so I'm assuming that you are aware of all these functions and uh, you are al also uh, know the basic of the arrays in case if you don't just watch this video you can get a good amount of idea that the combination of formulas can you know do actually wonders and you'll simply love this formula so let's start with this the very first thing is which I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array of the number of elements which I have in this so I'll select any reference and I will leave these rows and columns because I am really not interested in extracting any cell so I'll leave this and hide in the width are the parameters which can be used so in high in high I'll use the length function again length is a function which you're supposed to know it simply returns the uh, the value that a number of the characters uh, are there in the cell and then the width has to be one right I'm keeping this options open control shift enter is how you write the array right and let us see now the output so we have these elements 0 0 0 0 0 and I think the uh, we have these um, you know uh, zeros exactly uh, to the number of characters we have in this a1 cell right I can show you by using the row function so this row function uh, what what it will do is it will find the row of each element which is in this array which is 0 comma 0 comma 0 and it will simply return us the array with the number of the elements so we have the 25 elements 25 characters in this a1 cell right so this is how you can build up the arrays so this is again I'm writing here you must know the length formula as well 
and uh, about creating these arrays you know uh, you are supposed to know this that how this offset actually works right so I cover this in my basic tutorials uh, and the advanced tutorials and I train my students especially on these kind of uh, arrays right so once you have this kind of uh, array what you need to do is you just simply use the mid function now mid can uh, give us the you know exp uh, it help us, uh, helps us in extracting the number of the characters one by one so what I'm going to do is I'll use this mid and the start number has to be the this entire array so let me do one thing let it to be just uh, to give you more clarity on this uh, let's do one thing let's write this function somewhere here and see the output okay so there you go I don't need the formula back so I'm just keeping like this so you have this array which has a 25 elements right this is what this is giving us so I've just written it so that you can understand what is happening right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the mid function you know the mid function right the mid function retrieves the values by giving the start number and the number of the characters you want from after the start number so I'll select this text because I want to apply this in a1 cell so I have selected the a1 and the start number now this time here comes the trick in arrays it can go one by one on all the things you know just like a loop just uh, in VBA we have this looping system so it, it similarly works on this piece now start number could be one two three four right generally when we write the mid function we write like that but in this array what we are trying to do is we are trying to run this mid as many times as we have the characters number of characters here and we have the 25 characters here so this start number has to be changed after every loop so first it should find the one and then second and then the third and the fourth and these are the starting positions which I am putting in here right so I'm not going to change it this entire array is inserted over here and this is going to give this one two three four until 25 the next thing is number of characters so what I want is that I just want a one character right I want that it should start from first and then it just starting from the one just give me the one character back starting from the second give me one character starting from three give one character start from four give one character start from five give one character and so on right now you see what will happen here control shift enter is the key which I pressed and now I'm pressing F9 this is the way you can see your arrays right so that's the array uh, which is there now and uh, so you see uh, let me write it somewhere else just down below I'm sure you must be fascinated by you know or maybe might be a little surprised at how you know we can actually has taken out each cell separately and we can have the view in the single cell so that's why you know I say that arrays are very very powerful formulas they really you know and I just love working on them because you know I can I can do any stuff in Excel with the help of the arrays where all the formulas are failed these arrays I'm sure let me tell you these are I mean so far in I have uh, I have uh, been you know training people on Excel from the last five years and uh, I have not seen even a single question where I felt that you know this can't be done with the arrays otherwise you have the VBA of course if you if you don't want to do with the, with the, the arrays you don't feel that comfortable with the arrays you can always use the VBA but what if you don't want to use the VBA right and and moreover you know using the arrays is always it's a great great you know uh, I mean it's, it fascinates me so much and I'm sure by just looking at this formula you must be also surprised and fascinated that you know wow what kind of this output is right so now what we're supposed to do we have this array this is the array which is it is giving now it is giving me just a because I have uh, not pressed F9 right so to check the arrays output you always need to press F9 and then to come back just just come to the next equals to and press escape so that you will be sorry so you will be back on your formula right so you can't see all the outputs over here is just telling you the first cell a right in order to get to uh, in order to see all the details whether your array is functioning properly or not you're supposed to use the F9 key right this is how you work on this now what we need to do is we simply want to say that uh, in this array here is another trick I'm, I'm just putting the open parenthesis and close parenthesis and I'm saying that this has to be equals to hash and control shift enter okay now see what will happen now this has given me true false combination so wherever I have this backslash it is giving me the true right but I want the numbers I don't want true false I want the position of the backslash so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to close this bracket first and then I'm going to multiply with this another that uh, this function row offset and it's going to start from here and uh, the height is going to be of course the length of this cell which has the number of the characters and I'm going to keep this width as it is right so 
let me press control shift enter and let's see now what result we have wow great so we have got the positions here 4 7 10 15 19 and these are all the positions of the backslash please take a note of this right you see backslash 4 and then 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then 11 12 13 14 15 and uh, 16 17 18 19 side so right we have got all the slashes all the positions of this backslash so what we know to do is since he is looking for the, the person who uh, you know written this email that he wants to extract the say uh, the number or alpha number or whatever it is there after the last slash after the last you know this slash which is uh, you know the 19th in this uh, situation i'm going to do one thing i'm simply going to uh, let me first write this uh, output for you so that you can get the understanding what we are doing so this is a kind of an array which we have got so far we have got the position so we are going to find the largest number from now here obviously it will give me the 19th number which is the position of my last slash that's again the nice trick which we are going to use so large has array and the kth parameter so first largest number for first uh, I want to find the first largest number so I am going to write here one and I'm going to press Control Shift Enter. So it is going to give me the 19, right? If I would have used here two, maybe the second largest number, right? Then I would have got the 15 here, right? You see, 15. Okay. So I don't want the 15 because I'm interested in extracting the uh, the cells, the characters which comes after the last slash. So that's ha this has to be my first largest number. Control Shift Enter. And now you need to what you need to do is you have already got the 19, which is uh, the position of the last slash simply start using the mid function and select this cell and uh, start number now start number has to be 19 which is this array is giving me and number of characters after this I want 100 so I'm keeping 100, it, uh, 100 here because you know you know that this mid function this uh, this actually says that uh, start position from from where to start until or which character you want me to return the value right so when you say uh, this thing to me that you need to return 100 characters so I'm assuming that the the maximum length after the last slash the number of the characters are there or the alphanumeric whatever the content is there it should not be exceeding the 100 right otherwise on the safer side you can even increase this thousand right because we want to retrieve all now dollar has just six characters so if even if I write six here it can work for me but what if you have uh, maybe thereafter Donald Duck you know then you might have um, more than six characters so in order to ensure that uh, all the characters should be covered you can keep this limit uh, you know some you can give some uh, good amount of uh, um, you know with with your this um, idea you can keep that number so flexible that you know it uh, your number sh uh, your character will not go beyond this hundred right so I can even keep the thousand or even maybe ten thousand that's that's not a problem at all right so press the control shift enter and you see now you have you know you got this hash Donald value now hash Donald value is because uh, you have to start from you know you have to skip this or uh, hash so when you when your array when you um, you know got this 19 by using this uh, function large what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, now here you need to plus one it so that the starting position for the mid can be not 19 but 20 and immediately then it will start from the next you know uh, just after that uh, character which is after this uh, last slash right so let me put this like this and now let us freeze this uh, so A1 I am not uh, supposed to freeze this A1 because I need to uh, drag this down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze this G1 and A1 will not be freezed again I'm going to freeze this G1 I think that's that's it right so here uh, we're gonna drag this and let's see we're getting the output yeah we are getting the output you see so wonderful right and look at the formula right it's amazing to see such a formula you have used so many formulas together you have used length offset row you know and then mid and then large you know five formulas you have used all together and you're getting this great output so now whatever you want to change it you know uh, maybe if you write something here you see you'll get the numbers like here so you write whatever you want let me write this let me put these many slashes here let us keep on okay and and the last slash let's say uh, I'm gonna write my name AJ so you see this will be appeared here so it is working on the slashes and it, it is calculating all the positions of these slashes so this formula is so dynamic so that's the solution for you and uh, you can um, 
do a lot of uh, manipulations in this uh, in case if you want to do some changes like you want to find the number just left to the first slash but anyways I'll not go uh, you know into that I'm not gonna confuse you guys so this is a formula for you if you are looking for something you know uh, something this uh, something like this that you want to retrieve the values from the last flash and you're not sure how many slashes you have there so it could be on the other uh, other uh, you know side as well like instead of finding the hash what if your data would have hash not the slash maybe the question mark so what you need to do is you simply need to put here the question mark right it will work the same way for example if I have some data here which has a question mark like this okay like this and here I have written here the name now what you want to do is simply come here and write here the question mark okay and control shift enter you'll get the value right because then you're, it is finding the question mark in this entire cell and it is giving the true false and true false we have converted them into the positions so question mark the position of the question mark is being returned like 3 and 5 and so on and through the mid function we are extracting those values right so that's the trick and I hope you like the video so um, that's my email ID in case uh, if you have some questions you can definitely write me an email that's my email ID and uh, you can even get back to me on my gmail ID which is this and uh, let me know about your requirement in case if you are interested in knowing the you know if you want to learn the basic excel or advanced excel and the VBA uh, and please do subscribe my channel in case if you are looking for this kind of a stuff which is very advanced level stuff I provide I'm covering all the videos day by day basic uh, from the basic to intermediate and uh, then of course the advanced levels like these videos so subscribe to my channel and uh, keep on uh, enhancing your excel skills uh, and uh, you can even like the video in case if you feel that you know that it has actually uh, improved your knowledge and it has given you something very fantastic all right guys so i'll see you some uh, with the some another video with the you know more advanced stuff and uh, hope that you like the video and see you soon all right bye bye